Hello, dear my friend. I'm Jackie from the Tiric Boost Pump Equipment Manufacturer and Training Company. This is a pneumatic liquid boost pump, hydrostatic pressure testing equipment. Now let me introduce the operation steps of this equipment. The model of this equipment is LULDD. 130. First step, fill lubricating oil to this sprayer. Used to lubricate the drain air. Use an air pipe to connect the air compressor. To this driven air inlet. Fill water to this tank of the machine. Ensure sufficient water supply during the testing. Connect the high pressure hose to this high pressure outlet. Connect the other end of the hose to the testing. Filtering or other device. Check that uh, all valves are closed. Close, close, off. Regulate the air pressure. If you need the output pressure is seven hundred bar. You can regulate air pressure at five or six bar. Okay. Next step is to exhaust air from the pipelines. Open the high pressure output well. Open. And uh, turn on the driven air switch. When the flow flower out of the high pressure outlet, verify that uh, air has been removed. Close. The high pressure output well and the close drain air switch. The next step is pressure testing or pressure injection. Open high pressure output well. Open and the close release well. Open the driven air source switch. The pump starts to fill water to the pipelines. And the hydraulic hits the hose. Pneumatic post pump begin to pressurize it. You can observe the output test pressure from this pressure gauge. When the pressure pressure reaches the seat well, seat well, the pump will automatically stop pressurization. If the high pressure output pressure drops, the pump will automatically start pressurizing. When the pressurization or test is complete, close 
driven air source switch. Open the output needle well. And uh, open the release well. No releasing pressure from the pipelines and the hose. And when the high pressure gauge shows zero, we can remove, remove and uh, replace hydraulic test pass. When you are not using this equipment, or if something goes wrong with the equipment, be sure to release the high pressure in the equipment and the high pressure pipe before remove apply. Ensure the safety of operators and the equipment. This is all, dear my friend. If you have any question, you can contact me and uh, all technical engineer and the time. Goodbye, dear my friend.